All right, so we're going to start with some glue. Uh, you can do this on a plate or a paper, um, a paper plate or a bowl, whichever one works. But remember, when you do this, you want equal half of glue, equal half of paint. I'm just going to use regular um, paint. But da, 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 da. I'm not really going to sit here and like exact measurement this stuff, okay? If you're one of those people that have to do that, be my guest. But I'm just going to sit here and wing it. And just kind of mix it all up together. Do, 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 do. But um, when this dries, it's going to have that thin Elmer's glue coloring. And it's going to be awesome. So we're going to paint the inside of the jar. All right. You want to get a jar that's got a smooth side to it. Okay. Like a mason jar or something or an old jam jar. Get a lot of them at like Michael's or um, what do you call them? Targets, things like that. And just kind of try to do this evenly as possible. I know it's a little hard to do, but we'll try our best. All right, and then we're gonna just let that completely dry. So if you want while you're waiting for the inside to dry or after it's completely dried, your choice, um, you can go ahead and decorate your outside. You can do a bunch of things. I've seen people do like um, vinyl cutouts and some people just draw stuff on it, but I'm just gonna use a classic Sharpie and just draw something I don't know. I don't know. I could do the classical ghost face. But, oh, I wish I could draw, like, on the spot. <laughs> um, you know, we're just gonna go with that old weird ghost he faced. And just kind of have fun with it, I guess. It's quick, it's easy, it's prompt, too. And just color it in a bit. And like I said, you can do the vinyl cutouts, or you can, um, paint these on heard some people that do like etched glass will etch them on too um but i don't know if anyone's attempted that maybe one day i will uh, so the paint is dry we have a candle in it. You can use a uh, battery-powered one if you want. Um, I've just went ahead and stuck in a regular candlestick. Uh, kids, if you're making this, as always, safety first when it comes to fire, please, okay? Let's not burn our houses down. I am one to talk. I mean, my computer's right there in the background, but... Alright. Gonna go ahead and set this on fire. Whoops. Fail. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. All right. Check that out. And that is our glow in the dark. Candle. Now these are pretty cool if you want to put them out on like your pathway uh, to your house or just as a table decoration. It works out pretty good. But you can also do this on any other ho occasion as well. So there we go. First Halloween craft of 2013. I think it's gone down pretty successfully.